your child and on all you know different family gatherings or um, you know uh, parties you go and see a donor can you how will this work for you can you do, would you still be able to feel as a parent And you know, finally, you know, I, I have to say, you know, for we do provide, um, you know, uh, consultations for all recipient parents uh, or parents who are, who are even thinking, you know, or or you know, going through this process. It's again completely informational session that will really help you, you know, through issues uh, that you haven't thought on your own. And certainly, talking to focus on uh, what do you tell the child later on, and, and should you tell the child, and um, we do have a, a donor parent support group, uh, which meets first Thursday of the month here on Fannin location at 6 o'clock and is completely free and open to anyone um, who is either thinking of using a donor, getting pregnant or pregnant or eventually has, uh, you know, child or children through, uh, you know, uh, through egg donor or sperm donor, and the goal is for for you to meet people to really build up network of people who are um, who have families the same way, uh, so you really don't feel you're you're alone. And you know, if you're interested in you know more of our uh, you know uh, uh, to learn more about our seminars or you know groups that we have, so please visit us either on our website or on uh, the face page, Facebook. Um, and I, I know we'll we'll open it for for discussion in a moment. But you know, if you have any questions after this you know uh, call. Or if you you know want to talk to me, I'll be happy to you know schedule some time to talk to you. Um, you feel free either to call me or feel free to to visit my uh, website. I, you have here a link to my website. Um, and I guess we'll uh, I'll now turn it back to Chris and, and I guess we can open it up for discussion if we um, have any questions. Well. Thank you, Dr. Irina. At, at this point, this is where we'd like to invite you to ask any questions that you may have uh, about egg donation and how the process works, or any questions perhaps that were stimulated while Dr. Irina was talking. Um, you simply would type the question into uh, under where the question is, and then I would repeat it out, and Dr. Irina can answer it. Um, do we have any questions? Irina, um, Dr. Irina, one question that I hear often actually um, is how long does the process take um, to, to find a donor and like from beginning to end? Do you, can you give a kind of a broad idea about that? Well, you know, I, I don't think, you know, I guess that the, the way it works is that, you know, once you have completed at least your medical and, and, you know, psychological requirements, you will get at least I can talk for, well, I can talk for our you know, uh, uh, you know, donor program. I can't really talk for you know other, um, you know, agencies, but it it does not take long. I think you know it's more about your own process of going through the um, you know donor list, um, seeing who's there, kind of like becoming more comfortable with the whole idea of you know you know uh, choosing a donor, and then you and your your partner really have to kind of like agree on which donor um, you would. Uh, like um, that you can pick and, and what I all what we actually often recommend pick more than one and I think you know if, if you have um, you know a couple like you, your choice number one two and three then you're you're more likely to uh, be able to find a donor sooner rather than later so once you've picked your donors and, and again if you especially have you know a, a, um, you know, choice one, two, three. Uh, then you know you if you and if you're flexible, meaning to go with the you know second donor. I don't think that you know uh, once you pick the donor, um, you know then the nurse is going to call and see that she's available. And pretty soon, so so from the time that you know you pick a donor, nurse calls her. You know she could you know donor confirms that she's available. Um, yeah, I think you know th that this whole process. I assume does not take longer than than let's say like a month or two, uh, but I think it, it it really depends a lot on the recipient parents about uh, 
finding the appropriate donor and being able to agreeing to you know have more than than one so that they're flexible to uh, uh, you know if the first donor is not available that you can you know go ahead and choose the second donor um, and if she's available that the process can start you know pretty pretty quickly so I assume you know n not more than you know let's say two months uh, sure um, we do have a question here actually um, it says if my if my husband and I are not on the same page, but I found a donor would like to proceed. What do you suggest? Well, you know, uh, I think it's a great question, and I certainly appreciate it. Um, I, I don't think that you know any um, that that we can really proceed, or I would hope that also your physician will not proceed unless both you and your partner are on the same page. Um, and um, I think you know you both really need to be in agreement that that you are you know that this is something that would you know uh, you're you're willing to to do, and you know for the simple reason is that you know now is the time for you to think and and you know kind of like get get in agreement. Once you get pregnant, it's too late, and you can't really turn the clock back and say, well, but I really didn't want this, or we didn't really uh, agree on on having a child this way. Thank you. Um, I think that's a very good point. Uh, next question uh, is, as a recipient, what's involved with the, with the testing for recipients? Well, you know, this is also a really great question. There's no really testing of recipients. At least, you know, I'm talking about psychological part. You will, you know, check with your, you know, physician and and, and a nurse, you know, what kind of medical test you'll you'll uh, go through. Um, uh, but you know, in terms of psych psychologically, you you're really coming for a consultation. It is completely, you know, informational session. Um, and but a donor will go through psychological evaluation. So your, uh, you know, what we cover in the, those, you know, consultations, not evaluations. It's really, you know, you know how to choose a donor, what to expect emotionally, um, how to make a decision, and certainly, you know, like what what if you and your partner are not on the same page. Um, and you know, finally, uh, or uh, you know, how to talk to your your child about you know his or her genetic uh, origins. So it sounds like it's more of an informational giving session. It's not. It's not an evaluation or determination. Okay. Correct. Correct. Do we have any other questions? Okay, we have one more. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you go to wrong, let's see. If you go with a donor, is it wrong that you don't want the, your husband to see what she looks like? That's a very good question, too. Huh. Um, uh, can, you, can you repeat the question again, if you know? If, you, if you're going to go with a donor, if you've decided to go with a donor, is it wrong that you don't want your husband to see what she looks like? Well, you know, I guess it, it, it's an interesting question. I haven't I thought about that or I haven't encountered that. I guess I would be curious to understand how come or w w how come that you don't want your husband to see the picture of a donor. But I think on the long run, it would be really best that two of you can really agree on, first thing, on the idea of using a donor and that you can both really negotiate and agree about using the same donor, that you're both on the same page regardless of you know what your criteria are for uh, for a donor um, and think about this I mean you are really creating a child together that it's not only about the creation but it's also later on about parenting that child and 